There he is. Oh, hiya. And uh, Lauren hasn't made clear yet, but the, uh, the classes will be in an Aikido format. Yeah. So uh, those of you who need more movement, here's your chance. Uh, so I'll give you time to ponder this here. Uh, okay. So what's our write up for tonight? Ta da! Integrating concept and experience. Okay. Kind of a mind body harmony, yeah? Uh, integrating concept and experience. Okay. So basically, uh, we'll do a, I'll do a standing one here in a minute, wait for latecomers to jump in. Uh, we'll do a uh, physical level uh, uh, or a couple of dimensions of that. Uh, then later we'll shift into a, a finer dimensions. That's what that represents. Uh, some degree of an energy level, okay? Uh, we're going to click on to an old film uh, um, that'll be around in this area. Um, and we won't do anything with the, this is a self here, self in the domain. So you go through uh, finer and finer dimensions and self is there. Uh, basically, that pattern is uh, just a different angle on a three-layer three cake kind of thing. Okay, so they're all over overlaid, heavier, easy, finer dimensions, makes up finer character, da, 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 easy, finer and finer. And anytime along the way, uh, when you're ready, the uh, self will become more free and aware of itself, and it'll be self in its domain. Okay. So that's an all that's again overlaid. It's a three layer cake pattern, if you would. Uh, so, what's our count? We're at 22. 22. All right. Okay. I guess uh, you're ready to stand. Let's stand. Oh, okay. give me a moment to change locations here. Okay. Working on um, that first, let me check here. Okay, about there, yeah. Okay, easy. Uh, basics, physical, presence. Okay, I'm going sit there. I'm present, I'm here, nice idea, fine. Now the experience of being present, just that first early experience. Uh, to double check, I like to uh, see what the body wants to do here. Just being present experientially, body should want to move and move, okay? In whatever form it wants to move in, keeping it here. I uh, don't zip into the next room and then zip back. Uh, <laughs> uh, so the idea, and its counterpart, the actual experience of it. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's start it off uh, fairly simple here. Uh, the idea, what word are we using again tonight? Not the idea, we're using the word concept. No? Yes, concept. Okay. The idea or concept. Uh, of a fuller or a better body, whatever that means to you, okay? Better body. So there's the concept. Now, easy and opening, settling and opening, the energies that are here, okay, are the heavier level of energy. So I guess we could call them body energies. And they mix up 
they begin to breed or since they would say recreate recreate yourself okay that's very fancy so i say remix yourself or rebreed yourself okay so here energy is mixing a better body whatever that means to you so i'm beginning to feel the body for example i've noticed quickly that i'm getting some back support back in the back of my shoulders is suddenly they're activating easy now don't go off thinking about it stay with the experience and 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 at this level a better body ah. and i notice my legs extending into the ground balanced a bit better they feel equal not perfect as i double check it but close <laughs> okay ah still at that level easy easy again the idea was a better body and now the experience of it its counterpart and it's mixing a better body fuller body whatever words that you like at the moment a fuller body could be more capable body again you're 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 free to use whatever words feel comfortable for you at this time <sighs> this time oh. <sighs> now my overall flavor is uh, uh, i could do something a, a bit physical now now again i've been sitting on my front porch day after day week after week haven't been doing much movement at all uh, but here i feel like uh i could uh, bread throw that pillow at me ah that i could get into a bit of a ah yes that feels not too bad okay so the body mixed up a more active body a body that wanted to play or exercise a bit you're following this okay so let's do one more level or the continuation ah, still a dimension related to physical okay easy i have to settle down a bit for better ground ah that better ground Boom, now here comes the activation of the experience. Uh, uh, before it was back support. Here, my hips are activating. They're getting stronger. Uh, easy, easy. Experience it. Uh, uh, experience it. Feel it. Uh, let it move, let it stretch itself. Uh, uh, yeah, feel stronger in the shoulders. If I were to double check back to the pillow, for example, uh, I feel more like, oh yeah, it's boom, it's kind of sho shoulder related. He, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So settling at this level with the sense, anytime you settle, you can access more energies or they're being accessed. You're open to them and they mix up a fuller body, a better body, a more capable body, a more active body, Whatever, again, the words that you like right now, okay? And we're using a, a simple body approach. It would work the same if you wanted the form 
on a different lineage, <coughs> being a better daddy, you could do that. And the energy would be there and help mix you as a better parent. <sighs> Whatever, okay? Uh, we call that lineage, maybe. Uh, so, <clears throat> so far we'll, we're staying with uh, physical form of measuring. Uh, okay. Ah. And uh, you can open mic. Any comments on a better body? Hi, Sensei. This is Justin. I, oh. uh, I <coughs> had the distinct impression as we um, settled and opened to the next level of, uh, of what you've said, like trading, trading it in. Mm -hmm. I, I had a sense of emptying the cup, so to speak, mm -hmm. to make room for more. Mm -hmm. and, and the body wanted to move more. I found myself stepping instead of only kind of like the one by one to two by two mm -hmm. felt. But, um, but that emptying the cup that, that came to me, that helped me at that moment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a clearing a trading in and easy of whatever was earlier and and what is now. Uh, so all those basics of the, the trade in or the downtime, yes, uh, those are still in effect. And as you get more comfortable with those trading in, downtime, letting go, uh, this can really move along much faster, uh, much fuller, uh, Quicker. Da 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 da. da. Oh, on that note, is it is it too soon to, to remind us about this express elevator idea or this? Uh, yeah. Shazam, uh... Too soon. Okay. Yeah. You, you see, if people get too soon, they won't even feel the body. They'll. But I have an idea of perfection. I want to go there, and in a certain way, we've lost them because they'll be majoring in this concept of whatever. A little soon, yeah. Uh, let's just make sure we got our, our basics, okay? You got your basics uh, ingrained in your system. I like that word, I don't know if you like it, but ingrained in your system, where you know a great idea, now there's a great body that's gonna be equal to it, but it needs more time, pump it. My idea is like one, but it takes me five pumps minimum to where I've got a body sort of equal to that idea. Is that okay? A lot of people I think slough off on, on the experiential part because it's slow compared to the fast idea. Are you following me on that? So I tell you dumb stuff like I can think about Kauai and I can imagine right now I can imagine myself there. In a moment, I'll be able to even smell the flowers, feel the warm breeze, and on and on. Now, to actually, actually experience it in the human condition, I have to buy a ticket, I have to pack my bags, I have to go to the airport, I have to sit in a plane, and I'll be there, <laughs> really experiencing it. So that's a little, little slow uh, motion. But uh, anyway, just so you... Don't forget the idea is fast, but don't mind how many pumps it takes to have the fuller of the actual experience. Okay, so whether it takes five pumps or 12 pumps, I don't care, but just make sure they're in balance. Okay, so just the awareness people uh, may find that to be too slow and too dumb. So this whole world, universe, of experience, uh, they're not really that into it. They have an idea about experience. Oh yeah, you can experience the whole universe. That's it, I'm finished. Uh, no, you're not. The actual of the actual experience. Of course, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but don't freak out about it. Learn to enjoy that process of the more and more of it. The percentage game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very basic important. <laughs> Ingrain that in your system.
Okay, where the hell are we? Have we picked up anybody of Brad Count? We're at 25. Quiet tonight, huh? Okay. Uh, then we're going to move into an energy. Uh, maybe we can stand on that for a couple of moments. Okay, Let, let's do one there, energy. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> to quick repeat, quick. We settled, we opened. Ground settled, open, energies mixed, a better body. And then we continued a little bit better level there, mixing up an even better body. Boom, better body. Hey, ha, ah, fuller, stronger, uh, whatever you're experiencing there. And as we continue trading in some type of downtime thing, easy. Trade in a sense, finer dimension. And the finer of the energies is here. At first, I'm still in the imagining of, of it. Easy. Easy. Okay. And then more the experience. If those finer energies were mixing me up, finer level. Easy. Easy. The way my body is moving, starting to feel kind of Chinese fighting style there. Easy. I'm liking the balance when it shifts from side to side, how it's still centered a certain way, even here, it's still centered, still centered. I don't know, I'm enjoying that. Easy, find your dimension, mixes up an energy character. <sighs> Remember, all these mixes have a core. So the physical body mix had a physical core. The energy body mix has a core of the energy person. Here's where you could follow the Tai Chi lineage of a Tai Chi master. There'd be a, a core at the level they're at. They move into a better, better level, there'd be a core, okay? Ah, so all those basics continue, okay? Finer energy, finer energy. Ah, what's your feeling? Energy, body, sense, what's your feeling in an energy realm mix? What, do you, what are you noticing? A very distinct, for me, a very distinct sense of more fluidity. If somebody said, oh, it's like water moving around, I would go, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sensing that too. What's your experience here at this level? I know my arms are still, intellectually, I know my arms are still the same length, but, you know, they feel longer. They feel longer, a sense of longer. Easy. What's your experience? Mixing yourself up as an energy level, you. Ah, what's your early experience of that? Right. Easy. We don't have to keep jumping back to more idea. You had enough idea with energy level, energy body, energy person. That's good enough. Now the experience of it. And again, it's a percentage game. More experience of it. Yeah. Here the sense of intaking and outtaking. It's starting to get very clear to me. Right? That is an easy movement, draw me kick them back. It's, it feels very natural for me. Ooh. If you start to talk about receptive, positive, I'd be to some degree more, oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm following you. Because that's the level I'm at. 
Okay. We'll open mic and you can tell me your experience in that early stage of energy being. Oopa, which is that picture there. Okay. <clears throat> and somebody, energy person, you. What's your experience? Sensei, Chris here from New Zealand. A, a hum or a tingling in the end of the fingers. Not quite the yeah. extension yet, but a, yeah. starting to reach, expand. Yeah. Extend. Any kind of extra warmth would flow you in? Tingling? Yes, you're in an energy level, at a beginning level. And yeah, it should be getting warmer and tingling and maybe a sense of flowing a bit. Of course. Yes. Somebody, what's your experience at this level? Noah, you're allowed to speak. That's a, it's a sense of a glowing and open energy body. Okay. Uh, so uh, emanations from the energy body or the core of the energy body, however you want to word it, uh, that is starting to Ah, ah, at that level, yes, she should notice that I'm here. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. It should naturally radiate out. In fact, look at the picture. You see that yellow glow around there? That's, what, that's why it's there, Bob. <laughs> there should be some, uh, if not right now for all of you, uh, very soon in, in an energy realm, some sense of radiation, an aura, <laughs> a glow. Ah, and when it's actually there, you should actually feel a glow after a bit. I often feel that where I can feel the glow from my face at first. And then a bigger sense of it. Again, percentage game. So if you're not feeling these things some of us are going to talk about, if you continue here, you're not that far away. You're a couple of minutes away. Okay, whatever. Somebody, energy level, what's your experience? Uh, nice idea. What's your experience? Oh, we're not using idea, we're using concept. <laughs> concept. Okay, there's the concept. Now here's the experience. What's the early stages of the experience? Ta da! I can say this is Joanna. Uh, the first one I felt uh, in the physical body, it was a little faster, but on the next level, I felt slower. Like my pace, it was slower, but fuller and with more mobility. It was uh, more smooth. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, smoothness, closure. Yeah. Uh, when I'm too uh, thick, I'm not smooth. You know, but I settle down a bit and then I start to move smoother. Yeah. But at a heavier level, I can't move smooth. I know I could last week and I know I should because I'm a nanny nanny don. But if I'm at a Bobby level, I, I can't. Okay, what makes me faster now, but I know it's there, click, hit, clack, boom. And it's there to some degree. Not my best, but I'm starting to enter that realm. So I just get faster at it, that's, that's all. I know it's there, I don't, I don't is it there yet? Uh, how do I know I'm not making this up? And all that endless bullshit that people get caught up in, into. Get a little experience, and like, oh, okay, you settle, boom, hey, and here it is to some degree, easy. Ah, still feels a little bit in, but it's a little warmer. So a pro and a con. It's warmer, but I feel a little pull in up here. Okay, easy. It's all right. It's a percentage game. A little bit more in there. It's mixing up better and okay. There's very little pull in. I don't notice it at all. A tiny bit, a tiny bit of pull in. But the major is on the outflow. See, the way my hands moved, I didn't say move that way. They move that way, because at this level, that's the way they move. 
Okay. Yeah. So, somebody, what's your experience playing in the beginnings of an energy dimension level energy person? You. <clears throat> Justin, you got something to add in an energy realm? I I do, I do. I um in with my first finer, I noticed and experienced moving with a better sense of core. But in second finer, there was a noticeable yin yang or back and forth yeah. around the core um, that wasn't obvious in the first yeah. part. The push of pull doesn't and, exist. In the first yeah. part, kind of thing. I yeah. know it was there. And what Bob was sharing, um, you know, I didn't sense an emanation per se, but as he was describing it, I could figure that might be the next or soon pieces of what comes after the pushing and the pulling and the extending of the core, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you get, I call that a preview, where it's not quite there yet, but it's close enough where you're seeing the preview of the movie that's going to come out. A few days later, yeah, I, I, I call those previews. I'm sort of aware of it, but I'm not quite experiencing it or not really experiencing it a lot. But sure as shit, you're right. That's what's going to be next because you're picking up a preview. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and one last one. Somebody? <clears throat> Energy. It's Tom. Um, sensei, it's Tom. Oh, Tom. Sorry, Hi, I went sorry. blank for a minute. <laughs> yes, Tom. Yeah, I do that all day long, actually. <laughs> I, I, uh, I spent a lot of time today driving and having my face in a computer. So this first, this first experience for me is being aware of my back, my whole self front and back gave a, a more whole sense of uh, wholeness yeah. and uh, potential yeah. not just in front of me but behind me around me I feel a whole base so to speak yeah. yeah to do any Ushiro techniques for example you would really want to be at that level minimum right where your back is alive and alert Otherwise, Ushiro techniques are kind of strange because I'm the guy of the front trying to figure out what's happening behind me as they grab my shoulder or push me or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So to do Ushiro techniques, I would quickly get to this level and then I begin to do Ushiro techniques, somebody in the back pushing, grabbing, whatever. So, yeah, are we on? In accord? Hey. Hey. Uh, movie time. Somebody from Europe bumped into this and they really liked it. Uh, that's, uh, uh, and they sent me a copy and I hadn't seen this since forever. Um, but I think the film is a very good for this energy level. Uh, it's the early levels of an energy level. Uh, but keep that in mind that that I'm trying to present some level of, of this energy level. Okay. Film time. Okay. This is at summer camp, Dominican College. That's Tija Bell. In no way trying to squat them on down. <laughs> so alive. Because you've got good contact and the energies are flowing, good ground contact and the energies are flowing, still good ground contact and it's still flowing. Okay, one more time. Thank you. Uh, once you've learned the basic form, which is fairly simple, right? Wow, some folks do higher. Um, then, uh, for me, I'm not sure what more I can get of just repeating basic form. I like to change dimensions, if that phrase is okay, and start to play in an en energy realm, okay? All right. Uh, if I can't change dimensions or have some other change of consciousness, uh, 
after a few years, I'm going to get bored just repeating the same forms. It's got to be something more in this for me other than repetitive form. Okay, so once you've learned your form, if you like, uh, catch, oh, what should we call it this week? An opening that energies flow through. And although your form is basically the same, there's some, some new growth going on. Okay, and we can call it energy related, if you like. Okay. Check in to see my relationship with my energy using my partner for reference. Okay. After a while, if I'm just using my partner for reference, he can't tell me anything. I want to change myself in relation to the situation. Okay. So uh, basics, of course, yes. And if you like, uh, find out how the energies work in such a way that they create a change of consciousness. Does that mean anything to you? Give it two more minutes. <laughs> and I can't do Eddie? that if I'm uptight about the pressure. I can muscle him sometimes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> but if I open up, it gives room for the energies to flow as the energies flow. It's much more than through my body. It's around. That's why he's breaking down. Because there's enough opening where the energies are touching him. Okay. Under pressure, open up, let the energies flow. <clears throat> okay. All right. Enough on that? Let's change techniques. Could it go? Uh -huh. So it'll be uh, katate. Uh, before they dig in, We'll guide them as we move in. And we'll play Hugsies. I like to play Hugsies on the first night. Get to, and we'll change partners a whole bunch. So you'll get to hug a lot of people. Okay. And we'll move in. And we'll practice hugging because some of us need practice. Tisa doesn't, but I do. <sighs> Again, once you've learned the form and about the right position, after a while, there isn't much more to learn. Uh, so I like to, again, practice with energy at an attempt of a change of consciousness. Uh, for example, as I begin to do that, I'm aware that I allow him ex to express himself more. Okay, if I don't do that and I'm uptight, then I tend to clash. <clears throat> okay. Let's open a bit and let the energies flow. Kind of catch that I'm more allowing than my norm. Okay. Allow him to express. So there's a piece of that here. Allow him to express. And then I come in. Okay, uh, so we don't want to come in against against this power. Okay. So that's the attitude part of it. Kenny. Then also what happens in, in the energy, it starts to spiral around. Okay. All right. So once you start to open and the energy starts to flow, those things begin to happen. Yes, okay, circle. I'm not working that hard physically for it, but as the energy slow. Okay. Okay, okay so we allow them to express and, and, and. Okay. And as you open, let the energies flow. There tends to be a pretty good center. Your center tends to hook in well to his center. Okay. So it's not just the physical location. All right, there's a physical location, but you can have the physical location and still not be blending with him. You see, there's a place where it's more open. Is that going to be the phrase of the week? There's a, a place where it's more open, where our centers seem to be overlapping. It's just a, a sense, okay? <sighs> Okay, so once you've learned the basic form, uh, let's see how the energies work in here. What? Oh, sorry, sorry, you okay? Bye. Okay, step on it. Okay, play. 
using the word opening so far this week. I mean, we're open. Things flow. Okay. So I allow them to express, even help them to express, help, help bring more out of them. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let's just work that part of it so we we will not enter in. Okay. We'll just see if we're allowing them to express. Okay, just do the best you can to bring something out of them. Whether it's your puppy dog or your child, do the same thing. Sometimes we try to get them to go someplace. <sighs> Something happens when you open. Open center. Open center. <clears throat> Seems like gets to go where he wants to go. Okay. Okay, so I think sometimes we try to get a result. Instead of changing our beingness, we try to get a result. He's supposed to go around here, so darn it, let's get him over there. Okay. Uh, but it seems like something changes when you change. Lauren? And that's the end of the video. Can okay. you hear me, Sensei? That's the end. Of, that's the we yeah. played it through. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, I thought the video was good uh, because I thought it was starting to show the uh, well, I don't know what to call it the early stages of an energy dimension. Could, could we call it that? Early, middle part of an energy dimension. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, let's see. I don't know anything off the top here on, on, on that. Since say this is Tija. Uh, uh, before you start, all right. You can you tell me roughly what year this might be? <laughs> I was trying to figure that out too. <laughs> it, it, it's probably it, it's someplace between eighty nine and ninety two. I think right in there. You could tell by your hair. Yeah, I can tell by my hair. <laughs> by hair, uh, yes, I can tell. Uh, uh, for the people, uh, Tija was uke, Ken Kron was uke, and Hana. That was Elaine, I believe that was Elaine Yoder. I think, you, you don't think so? Okay. Well, Hana. Hana? Okay. Hana. Uh. <laughs> okay, Hana then. Uh, the, the point I'd like to, to the thing I'd like to point out in relationship to your teaching is to see the congruity that you've had with the connection with the with energy and alignment and the principles of Aikido. And it's really expressed so beautifully in your waza, in your technique. One of the things that I've noted over the years in, in talking with you know, other teachers in the, especially in Northern California, like, uh, well, like Duran Sensei and, and others, they say that your foundations, your basics are impeccable and that, that you've, you have established and, and represent and express that so beautifully. And it was great to, to see that uh, uh, with the various ukes and, uh, uh, to see that expression of the integration of your uh, energy principles in your technique. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to, to see. Yeah. Well, again, I think it goes back to what I'm trying to get at, and that's uh, a finer dimension level of yourself should naturally in some form produce better. Here, we happen to be doing Aikido techniques as an example, uh, but in whatever endeavor you're in, musician, surgeon, whatever, uh, that a better inner should produce naturally better outer. Okay. Uh, 
for me, kind of a basic and where we're trying to go with this to that to the, uh, a real big jump, a real important one is to the self in the domain. We're the same thing. Uh, uh, will happen and uh, it'll be fascinating to see, experience, see what other people are gonna pick up uh, with that level of that amount of inner manifesting outer. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, so, so that's where I wanna get to here <laughs> eventually, okay? Day after tomorrow, let's, let's move people. Uh, uh, let's see, I'm, I'm wondering, uh, I'm wondering if we should run the film again and then we'll stop each time the film stops to change, whatever you call that, uh, we'll dialogue for a moment. Uh, is that, uh, that's, that's fine sensei. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> why that happens. I'm in no way trying to squat them on down. Okay, so alive, because you've got good contact and the energies are flowing, good ground contact and the energies are flowing, still good ground contact and it's still flowing. Okay, one more time, thank you. Yeah, okay, bip. Uh, uh, no, it bit. I want a bit. Once you've learned the basics. Lord, what happened to my blip? Uh, we we it went by so fast, Sensei, that I caught and I uh, can't control it quite so accurately. So you, I can back up if you want. Or um, yeah, I don't think there was anything that important to say on that first one. Uh, was there? Okay, so I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna continue. Yes. Here we go again. Okay, so that's why that happens. I'm in no way trying to squat them on down. Okay, so alive because you've got good contact and the energies are flowing, good ground contact and the energies are flowing, still good ground contact and it's still flowing. Okay, one more time, thank you. Uh, learn the basic form, which is fairly simple, right? Wow. Some folks do higher. Um, then uh, for me, I'm not sure what more I can get of just repeating basic form. I like to change dimensions, if that phrase is okay, and start to play in an en energy realm, okay? All right. Uh, if I can't change dimensions or have some other change of consciousness, uh, after a few years, I'm going to get bored just repeating the same forms. It's got to be something more in this for me other than repetitive form, okay? So once you've learned your form, if you like, uh, catch... Oh, what should we call it this week? An opening that energies flow through. And although your form is basically the same, there's some, some new growth going on. Okay, and we can call it energy related if you like. Okay. Checking to see my relationship with my energy using my partner for reference. Okay. After a while, if I'm just using my partner for reference, he can't tell me anything. I want to change myself in relation to the situation. Okay? So uh, basics, of course, yes. And if you like, uh, find out how the energies work in such a way that they create a change of consciousness. Does that mean anything to you? Give it two more minutes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Comments on that piece there. The basics, ground, open to a better ground. Ground represents a dimensional change, okay? And a good ground, you're at a different level, so more energies can come in, mix and come into play. In that mix, I'm using the phrase there, consciousness change. I'm not weird Bobby anymore after a bit. There's a there's a change of my viewpoint, a change of my attitude, which will show up a little clearer soon. Any comments on that piece? Uh, you know, Sensei, this is Lauren. And my comment is that it's, um, 
I'm really struck by how you're saying that, uh, you know, basic technique, you know, a fundamental technique can get boring if it's just repetitive, but that it can also be a vehicle for energy work. And, yeah. uh, and, and Anything. Uh, uh, let me jump in, Lauren. Swinging a golf club, a tennis racket, mm -hmm. dealing with a patient, healing your patient. But whatever your endeavor is. Yeah. So no, I'm sorry, you're on. <laughs> well, just that the the fundamentals, you, you were demonstrating Taino Henko, this is so basic, but you were able to show us, and I'm sure that the Uke felt and the people around you felt how you changed it from you know uh uh, merely Taino Henko physical to an energy flow. And it's a, a good lesson for us to invest our basics with as much energy as we can. I really appreciated that in the video. Sensei, this is Tija. If I can uh, comment on my experience being the UK for you there. Um, there's a, a couple of moments when you really start to open up I don't know if you see the ukemi there, but I just go under the floor <laughs> about a foot because that's energetic space opened up. It wasn't something you were trying or I was hoping to, to do. It just, it just happened. The energy space, it was a little bit like a trap door. I mean, we do that, yeah. that, that, that energy just opened up underneath and mm -hmm. it's a, it's a beautiful thing to, to experience that because there's, I have I have no fear and in harmony uh, with with the action of the movement of the universe through you. It's just it's a great thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So in the experience uh, using the floor as reference uh, or meaning depth, meaning a finer dimension uh, that it's not just an idea. When you begin to experience it, then things can begin to happen that uh, Tish is trying to say where it's the energy is actually, he could feel them moving from under, not just at floor level, but even deeper from under. He could, in experiencing Azuke, he could feel that happening. So it's not just an idea, it's an actual, it's an actual don't know if I said that proper, but thank you, teacher. Yes. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. And we'll see in a little more depth here after a couple of minutes. Anybody else before we move on to film? Uh, Sensei, this is Bob. You led a discussion we had when we were in Japan in 1998 about kind of the future of Aikido, which at the time was about 50 years old. And one of the things you said that you really see in this is uh, just the, the repetition of techniques. Because uh, people said, yeah, well, if we train for 50 years, then we'll look like Osensei. Yeah. But we were there at 50 years yeah. and nobody was doing it. Yeah. And, uh, Bob's... Because, because of the missing dimensionality that you were describing. Yeah. The heavies in Japan, this story came from Japan where a, a couple of the eager young up and comers uh, would say, because those sensei had by this time 50 years in, they'd say, boy, when I get 50 years in, uh, I'm gonna be as good as those sensei was how they would work it. And I was kind of like, I don't think so, but what, what did I know in those days? But I didn't think so. And lo and behold, 50 years went by and we don't have any next O senseis at that level. Uh, so, so see, they think if they can have 50 years of physical training, of repeating those moves, doing them a little faster, maybe a little smoother, but they're extrinsic with that. And they really think they're going to be an O-sensei type? Ain't no way in hell. <laughs> so thank you, Bob, for reminding me of that story. Ah, oh, and, and Sensei, as you've, as you've mentioned, uh, O sensei had said at one time that it's so easy. Once you catch on to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, certainly, certainly. And get a little experience, not just catch Ooh. on intellectually. That's but the other thing I wanted to say. What we were saying earlier, 
get get a little ingrain those first mm -hmm. earlier levels in your system so that as things open up more and stuff, you don't get, oh, wow, look at that. I've arrived instead of, no, wait, what happened to the experience here at this level? Uh, that's what I wanted to mention when I was watching you and, and, and Tija, that it was, it was on one hand um, clear that there was an opening of consciousness, but it was obvious that it was an experience also. Yeah. And hopefully that'll show better in the next part of the film. But keep that in mind because I think it's going to show even better. We okay so far, people? Yeah. Lauren. Okay. And I can't do that if I'm uptight about the pressure. I can muscle him sometimes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> If I open up, it gives room for the energies to flow as the energies flow. It's much more than through my body. It's around. That's why he's breaking down. Because there's enough opening where the energies are touching him. Okay. Under pressure, open up, let the energies flow. <clears throat> okay. All right. Enough on that? Let's change techniques. Could it go? Uh -huh. So it'll be uh, katate. Uh, before they dig in, we'll guide them as we move in. And we'll play Hugsies. I like to play Hugsies on the first night. Get to, And we'll change partners a whole bunch. So you'll get to hug a lot of people. Okay? And we'll move in. And we'll practice hugging because some of us need practice. Tisa doesn't, but I do. Again, once you learn the form and about the right position, after a while, there isn't much more to learn. Uh, so I like to, again, practice with energy at an attempt of a change of consciousness. Uh, for example, as I begin to do that, I'm aware that I allow him ex to express himself more. Okay, if I don't do that and I'm uptight, then I tend to clash. Okay. Let's open a bit and let the energies flow. It's gonna catch that I'm more allowing than my norm. Okay. Allow him to express. So there's a piece of that here. Allow him to express. And then I come in. Okay, uh, so we don't want to come in against against this power. Okay. So that's the attitude part of it, Kenny. Then also, what happens in in the energy? It starts to spiral around. Okay. All right. So once you start to open and the energy starts to flow, those things begin to happen. Yes, yeah, circle. I'm not working that hard physically for it, but as the energy slow. Okay. Okay, so we allow them to express and, and, and. And as you open, let the energies flow. There tends to be a pretty good center. Your center tends to hook in well to his center. Okay. So it's not just the physical location. All right, there's a physical location, but you can have the physical location and still not be blending with him. You see, there's a place where it's more open. Is that going to be the phrase of the week? There's a, a place where it's more open, where our centers seem to be overlapping. And it's just a sense. Express. So there's a piece of that. And Sensei, you wanted me to stop? Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, so let's see. Okay, I think for me, uh, uh, and I hope you caught that piece about Tija doesn't need to practice hugging, but I do. I thought that was cute. Now I'm going to get it anyway. Uh, I think admitting who you are at any given level of you and knowing your shortcomings, 
I, I think it's a nice honesty factor. In my work, in my work, I like to be honest. Okay. If I'm a 10 pounder, I'm a 10 pounder at that moment. I don't say, uh, no, I, but no, I'm really a 15 pounder. Look at my range. That means nothing. If I'm a 10 pounder at the moment, I'm a 10 pounder. I like to be honest with myself in my process. Okay, bad enough we have bullshitters in the world, but to have spiritual bullshitters is, oh dear, really? Don't bullshit. The if you're having the experience, actually the experience, less likely to bullshit. Experience usually doesn't bullshit. Having an idea about experience will bullshit. Having an idea about an idea will bullshit. But properly the fuller of the experience the, uh, the stuff of experience tends to be honest. 10 pounder will say he's a 10 pounder, 20 pounder will say he's a 20. Okay. And in saying I'm a 20 doesn't mean I don't know there's a potential for a 30, uh, but I'm, uh, but at the moment I'm a 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, okay, I think we started here also with this beginning of changing consciousness was the word I was using, where uh, I, I just felt myself wanting, uh, or it was natural to allow him to express. See, it wasn't an idea where I said, I, I've got to get him to uh, uh, express himself. I didn't have that idea. It was through this experience that the next part of the experience uh, just felt like, oh, he wants to come through. Let him come through. Let him express himself. Uh, so that uh, phrasing came out of the experience, not an idea about it beforehand. Yeah, I don't know if I said that well. Uh, no, that was clear, Sensei. Okay. Um, uh, so not only did you say it well, but it, you weren't when I was when I was doing the the ukemi there for you. You weren't trying to make me fall, right? You were just opening the space and guiding through, and my body was just doing what seemed natural at that moment. A couple of times I fell, other times I didn't. Yeah, but it was the it was that teaching of allowing the expression, allowing the natural expression to come through. Yeah, so it's not uh, always putting people down on the mat. Yeah. And, and to have that same flavor, if you're a therapist, to be present with them at that level so that they will express their fears or their hangups, what, whatever kind of therapy you're doing, that your very presence helps bring that out of them. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. And Sensei, that's, that's such an important message that we see you in this video, it's, it's all the difference in the world, whether you do iriminage to drive the guy through the mat, or if you do iriminage to encourage them or allow them to express themselves. It's, it feels so different from both uke and nage, I think. And it's really clear in this, in this video. Yeah. And often I have people change the sense of who the uke is. If, if you say, okay, now the uke is your, your, your child, are you going to drive them through the mat? Right, right. I don't think so. And if you can't catch the difference and you do drive your uke child through the mat, dear God, what kind of father are you? We know those kind of guys are out there. They destroy their children, <laughs> okay? And verbally, emotionally, somehow they destroy them. Uh, you know, that's why I make jokes about uh, picking on football players, unfortunately, uh, punching out their pregnant girlfriends in the elevator. I mean, my God, these are massive, powerful guys. And that's what they resort to, punching out their pregnant girlfriend in the elevator or wherever. What a sad, sad condition. You know, so just heavy duty extrinsic will lead us to insanity like that. What a shame. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's continue. Thank you, Lauren. Can we continue? Here, Lom to express, and then I come in. 
okay? Uh, so we don't want to come in against, against this power, okay? So that's the attitude part of it. Kenny. Then also what happens in, in the energy, it starts to spiral around, okay? All right, so once you start to open and the energy starts to flow, those things begin to happen. That circle, I'm not working that hard physically for it, but as the energy slows. Okay, okay so we allow them to express and, and, and. Okay. And as you open, let the energies flow, there tends to be a pretty good center, your center, tends to hook in well to his center, okay? So it's not just a physical location, all right? There is a physical location, but you can have the physical location and still not be blending with him. You see, there's a place where it's more open. Is that gonna be the phrase of the week? There's a, a place where it's more open where our centers seem to be overlapping. It's just a, a sense, okay? Okay, so once you've learned the basic form, uh, let's see how the energies work in here. What place are you okay? Okay, step down. Okay, play. Ah, oh. uh, let's see. There's a couple of things there, but I blanked on what they were. Uh, oh, that both that circle happening wasn't something I had an idea about because I was in the area of more experience and it, I was continuing to open to it. Then the energy showed that they wanted to circle more. So it wasn't my idea because I've been taught I should really circle him which is an all right approach, but this is the other side of it, the other way of it. In the experience, the experience, the experience itself opening up, uh, the energies itself uh, said, we're going more circular. It's self-evident they're going more circular. Is that, did I say that okay? The second part was the uh, uh, overlapping centers. It wasn't like uh, I was working, I had an idea to work on my center, but in this experience, uh, that the, the center started to show that that's what it was doing. I could experience it. That's why I said it. But I had the experience first before I said it and was, let's say, clearly aware of it. Uh, it came out of the experience. So you can have the idea and get the experience, or you can have the experience, experience, and have an idea. Oh, center to center is important kind of thing. Again, don't know if I said that well. Anything up to this point, anybody? That was That's a, Mike. Go ahead, Mike. I, oh, <laughs> I was just going to say, Sensei, my sense of uh, um, watching it and also having experienced um, being okay with you is you're drawn as you settle more and more. Okay, is drawn into the process, and the word that comes to my mind is sucked. You are literally sucked into. Mm -hmm avoid basically that's my feeling and it's it's yeah the word yeah. suction is a really for me a very descriptive word of, of the experience <clears throat> yeah as it and settles other, down and down yeah in other words have come up there i think uh, attraction a uh, uh, magnetism uh, noah magnetism is good sensei and it, it, it's something you're describing the experience you're having you're not proscribing what's going to happen yeah and how can Bobby be magnetic? He can learn the word. He can understand the theoretical about magnetism, but ain't no way Bobby is going to be magnetic. But at a certain level, the beginnings of that start to show. It's like, oh my God, he was felt like he was pulled in. Wow, how did that happen? Kind of thing. It's at a certain level where those things begin to happen naturally. They're natural at that level. Yeah. It, again, don't know if I said that well, but <laughs> it was very clear in Kenny's body 
you guys were standing upright, center to center, and then and then it just the as the circle opened, he just got in the wave of that circular movement, and you were in the center, and uh, he just he just went down. It was seamless. Yeah. And then you begin to start to get a hint of center the circle and circle the center. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's an important. I don't know what to call it big universal. Certain things are ongoing. Center is ongoing. Circle is ongoing. Center to circle and circle to center is big time ongoing. A uh, downtime. Just wait a minute. Let me catch my breath here. <sighs> okay, there. I feel better. Let's continue running. Right. Or I need a break. Let me let, let let me nap for a half an hour. Boom. Anyway, there. Okay, I feel more revived. Let's continue the job. Uh, but that those downtimes are big time. You're just seeing the first earlier stages of, of them. But they're big time. We try to I try to say that by going from a moment downtime to uh, a nighttime of downtime and then wake up for the next day to a winter of downtime and the springtime that follows it. Uh, it uh, downtime and boom is a ongoing big time thing. So certain things are big time. Okay. So blah, 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 blah. Sensei, this is Lauren. I'd, I'd yes. like to add something about what we just saw the video. <laughs> you know, uh, both Mike and Teja described, you know, suction or being absorbed or magnetism, whatever words we want to use. And I, I think that what uh, the, that the the people who heard you say that got one level of experience or insight. The people who watched it might not even know what's going on, but they saw it happen, and they can't. Their eyes can't. They can't deny their eyes. But the uke, they had it it through their body completely without thinking in that instant. And I think that one of the beautiful things about Aikido that you kind of showed is that you're, you're, you're able to transmit this phenomena to your uke, even before they understand it, they can experience it. Even before they do it themselves as nage, they can experience it as uke. And I'm just, it's so impressive as to see the ukemi and to, you know, appreciate how accepting the uke has to be to, to, to keep up. So it's, it's uh, thank you so much for sharing this with us. And, and following that, the better the uke is feeling or having an experience, not thinking about, pay attention here. Right. Uh, uh, not looking at uh, Nage who's going to throw me, not trying to figure him out, but the actual feeling of it. If you notice when I teach uh, and I try to start the new people off as soon as possible, feel, feel, feel this. Okay, so if they stay in that thinking mode or viewing mode or intellectual mode, if I can understand this, I can do it. Uh, they'll get much more out of feeling what's going on. So yeah, that's why it's a big time for, word for me. And that's why I push on it on the map. So uh, I think so about... it's, Mike, it's Mike again. I just yeah. wanted to say in, in connection with that, that for me, it's the word trust, that you get the, you, you get the best result as Nage when Uke is prepared to fully trust you. And I think for people to completely trust another person it's actually quite a big barrier for some people to to cross, you know, and, and it's only when you prepare to cross that barrier that yeah. you can have the experience. Well, I guess it's a matter of being appropriate with your partner. If you hurt your partner, then how do you expect them to trust you the next time you're going to be the Nage? Well, that's true, but I think it goes beyond that. I think really oh, trusting another person. I, 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 I'm just using that as a blatant. Yeah. Yes. 
everything goes beyond whatever level you're going to say, whatever level I say, it goes beyond that. And you say something high fluting and it goes beyond that. That's the game. Always. That's what all those lines mean. <laughs> you think you got it? It goes beyond. You think you got it with the next line? It goes beyond. <laughs> it's just a it's just a good sense to have that to be open for next. To as nice as where you're at is, appreciate the hell out of it, but don't stay there forever because there is the next. The next trade that in for the next. If you have a real interest of getting to the core of the matter or the more original uh, of, of you, then you have to do that. If you just want to get to a better level and you feel a bit better and you're happy there, I call that level of comfortableness. Go ye and be happy. Don't bother anymore because I'm a prodder. I'm a pusher. I'm a come on, let's move people kind of guy. Uh, but if you reach your level of happiness, go ye and be happy. Send me a card at Christmas. <laughs> okay. And anyway, Sensei, I, 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 I'm sorry. Pardon me. TJ? No, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, Lauren? Was, Lauren, I was going to play the last section of the yes. day. Yes, let's finish this up. The word opening so far this week. Mm -hmm. more open. Things flow. Okay, so I allow them to express, even help them to express, help, help bring more out of them. <clears throat> okay. Let's just work that part of it so we, we will not enter in, okay? We'll just see if we're allowing them to express. Okay, just do the best you can to bring something out of them. Whether it's your puppy dog or your child, do the same thing. Sometimes we try to get them to go someplace. Something happens when you open, open center. No center. Seems like gets to go where he wants to go. Okay. Okay. So I think sometimes we try to get a result. Instead of changing our beingness, we try to get a result. He's supposed to go around here. So darn it, let's get him over there. Okay. Uh, but seems like something changes when you change. Thank you, Lauren. Mm. Yeah. So uh, one piece that caught my attention was that low swoop following on what TJ was saying about uh, the flow. Uh, he caught it as being deeper than the ground and getting caught up in that. And so that last one with Kenny was even deeper than that. And that's what that movement showed. Uh, again, the, there was this sense as Nage, there was this sense that the deeper was there. And then my body did that point. It wasn't like by pointing, I can get that to happen. You can point all day and shit's gonna happen people. But at that level, it'll begin to erupt from under kind of thing, whatever. Uh, anything else there? Uh, allowing, um, yeah, to, to, and, and to help, to help draw, if, again, if you're a therapist, be in such a modality where your very presence brings their inner turmoiled secrets out where they can express them, where they can get, healed or whatever or come to terms with it or what what whatever uh and so i said something about do the same thing with your puppy dog do the definitely same thing with your kid uh how i got my first job with the dogs uh was i bought a dog i trained a dog and 
I, I brought him back to the kennel to show the uh, the boss man there uh, what I had done with the dog. And he was very impressed because apparently I had taken a mediocre, medium, a medium bloodline German shepherd and was getting him to do some fantastic stuff uh, beyond his price level, beyond his breeding level. So I had that capability of drawing more out of this dog than should have been there. And that's what impressed the boss, man. He hired me to work in the kennel and train dogs and stuff. Okay, so as an example. Uh, unfortunately, in maybe children's education, we teach children, but do we have any resources for sensing their capabilities that are there? to draw it out of them. Maybe that would take a little more time. Maybe the system doesn't have the time to do that or the personnel who are capable of doing that to read deeper into the person and see what talents are there, what qualities are there and to help draw those out. That would be fantastic in education, uh, but it's gonna be a rarity, unfortunately until we get more people where that's a norm and uh, and that would be a normal way of dealing with children and, and on and on and on. So there's the future, not next year, but uh, the, hopefully the future of society, if we're gonna make any head roads. You gotta stop yawning, you're throwing me off here. <laughs> no yawning on my program. <laughs> uh, are, are we finishing up here? Uh, uh, if someone has some more comments. Anybody? Uh, Bob, this is Catherine. Hey, and Catherine. yeah, what I was struck with in the last video clip was you said we tend to go for a result. Mm -hmm. And in this case, in Aikido, we want someone to fall down because that will demonstrate that we've done something. And you said instead, of changing ourselves. And to me, that is a pretty significant, you know, insight, wisdom, value. It's like, yeah, no different result will occur unless I change. And you mentioned the example of students training for 50 years, at I would assume homo do dojo, and there's no change. Yeah. And uh, I, I think all of us have heard some form of this definition that the definition of insanity is expecting a different result. Even though you're at the heavy yeah. level doing the same heavy thing. Yeah, I know. They're crazy out there, Catherine. They're crazy. <laughs> you think yeah, I'm crazy. They're crazy. <laughs> so that, that to me, you know, all of the clips and watching the demo and of course, kind of being taken back there at that time period, but still, it's the changing, me changing, that gets the result from that deeper space. So I, I just wanted to comment on that. And if you noticed at one technique, uh, maybe with Hannah, uh, where I was doing the same move, I said, we won't throw now, we'll just work on this opening, allowing, inviting, whatever they ca called it, because, I knew so many of them there wanted to get the hit in that they would pay no attention to this level where they get allowed in, where they're drawn in, whatever word you want to use there, that they wouldn't notice it because they want to get the hit in. That's their proof. So yes, yes. Old problem in Aikido. They want to get the hit no matter what. <laughs> sad, it's sad. <laughs> oh well thank you and, and sensei i think you've mentioned more than once um if oh sensei was working on a technique and it wasn't quite coming together just right that he didn't try harder instead he worked his process yeah that's a yeah that was a, i saw that i i already could kind of place them a certain way a certain way uh that it wasn't just once he was touched by a magic feather and he was O-sensei, but that, that 
if he was off a little bit, he had a way of processing that really caught my attention. I saw that and I said, oh, okay. It's, there is a process. It's not happenstance. It's not the gods looked with favor upon you. It's a process. What do you think we're going through all this bullshit for? It's a process. <laughs> anyway. Anybody, anything before we finish up here? So that's a, it, it was, uh, this is Tom. It, it was... Uh, a wonderful pleasure to see you in your role as a teacher back in a time where I don't know what I was. Exactly. But I was handsome. Was say it, Tom. Back in the good. time when I was handsome. <laughs> it, it's it's I, I, it's it's wonderful, and I really appreciate being able to see this. The thing that really, really, really stands out for me is how connected to the mat you are and were and how just fluid in your connection with the mat and your grounding is tremendous. I think any energy that entered your circle would, would, would spiral and, and come out of the circle or down to the mat, however you were spiraling or channeling your energy because you are so connected and grounded. And um, uh, it's an inspiration. Uh, I, that's my take, that's my personal takeaway from my practice now. Let me, let me jump in. I'm not sure if I would say I channel my energies. Right. At a certain level, the energies are kind of clear to me in some form or other. I see them, I sense them somehow. I said, and I just follow them. When I did that deep, whatever I did at the end, I, I wasn't saying, okay, energies, I want you to do this. Uh, they were showing us deep under. I said, oh, okay, they're going deep under. I just followed the energies. I didn't direct them a certain way kind of thing. Uh, I got to be careful uh, of, of me. I can do. Me do. I control the universe. I, I don't want to head that way. <laughs> kind of thing. So I, I stay away from any sense like that because I know I probably have a bit of the power to whatever in me also, like everyone else kind of thing, you know. Right. Anyway, so I'm just leery with certain wordings. <laughs> no, well said. Well said. Thank you. Yeah. Sensei, this is Gina. Yes, Gina. Hello. I would like to just testify how important that feeling is that you talk about because I've only experienced it once from you. You know, I don't do Akita. I'm not miss physical in any way. And the first day I met you on the, some class I was taking from you, I had no idea who you were or what you were doing. And you chose me and flipped me upside down. And I, that feeling I've never forgotten. And I'm still here 50 years later trying to get it. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> You didn't so get hurt. Feeling right? is really important because it sure hooked me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I think we're finishing up. Are we? Are we? Okay. So the next few weeks are going to be Aikido presentations. Okay, we did the series a year plus ago. So another series. Uh, probably that same group of teachers. It was Noah, Tija, Moon, and on and on and on. Uh, so there'll be a series of teachers and uh, Susan, Elaine, and a whole bunch of folks, right? So uh, you get to exercise for the next few weeks. So for those of you who are on me about moving more, I'm giving up on moving, uh, as you probably noticed. Uh, you'll have your chance to move a bunch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, during this period of time, again, if you wanna write in anything, observations, uh, questions, things that aren't as clear to you that you think should be clearer, uh, what, whatever, I'll, I'll peruse them and see if it's uh, something I can bring up uh, when I get back on. So feel, feel free to 
send letters uh, to uh, uh, Lauren, you want to remind him? I, I certainly will, Sensei. Okay. And so, um, uh, so I will uh, uh, issue uh, invitations for the next uh, three weeks with a teaching uh, plan for the different instructors, but essentially we're uh, hoping to have four instructors per night. We'll meet at the exact same time as we do with Nado Sensei, but we're gonna have, you know, Aikido roulette or speed dating, I'm not sure what to call it, but we'll have a rapid succession of instructors who will all do some different aspect of the same thing. And so uh, we look forward to seeing you all. And uh, thank you all. And uh, uh, I'm reminded to uh, remind everyone that uh, donations are uh, gratefully accepted and uh, uh, most appreciated. And uh, uh, thank you and good night. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you. Thank oh, you, Sensei, Sensei, I just have one, one more thing to say, Lauren. Sensei. Yo. Yes. Oh, it didn't work. Sorry. Forget it. No, I'm Did sorry. You? Good night. You <laughs> Thank you, Sensei. Have a great Thank day. You, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Happy Sensei. Good night, all. Night. Thank you, Sensei.